Hey, uh, welcome back. I wanted to do a quick little video on something that I did that I am uh, very, very excited about. Britt doesn't get a kick out of something like this, but I do. Um, so if you watched all of our videos, you've seen, um, I think maybe um, Britt was doing an update video when I was planting some seeds and the seed starter uh, and a couple other ones. Uh, all of our seeds were just in boxes. Like we had like cardboard boxes that they were shipped to us in and they were overflowing. And every time you were looking for a seed, you had to kind of dump everything out and um, put it all back in the box and the boxes were kind of falling apart. So I looked for something to kind of organize my seeds and I came up with this and I am in love with it. And it's super simple. This is actually a, a photo storage container. So um, I'm gonna see if I can't bring you in here a little bit closer, bear with me. Let's see. Okay, so here it is. It's kind of opaque. You can kind of see through it, but it's just kind of a dark. This is actually made to hold photos. It was relatively cheap. Like, I don't think this was 10 bucks. Um, but it has these little containers that would hold like a four by five photo that I have labeled, which it came with these labels, um, I guess, to label your, you know, what event it was. But it fits seed packets in here perfectly like I have you know all of our cucumbers are in this one and these are seeds that we've picked up and collected so I have cucumbers I have you know my onions then I think in this one which doesn't have a label on it yet I put the extra labels and I ordered I ordered some little these are little envelopes so if one of the bags or the um, envelopes that the seeds come in gets where it won't hold the seeds or it won't reseal um, I got some little envelopes to uh, put the seeds back in. The only thing that is not in here is our corn seed, um, but that's because the corn seed, we have like three or four pounds of it. It wouldn't fit in here, but for the most part, you can see, um, you know, I have broccoli. There's two for tomatoes because we just have a lot of tomatoes. Um, your summer squash and your winter squash. And um, these are okra, and I want to say... This is actually okra seeds that we collected out of our garden this year. So let me see, I used a little, a little paper, but it holds, holds them in here very nicely. And now I can put this in, you don't want to store your seeds in, um, let's see if I can, let me get y'all turned back around. So you don't want to store your seeds where they're going to get overly hot or humid um, or they handle cold better than they do heat, but more temperature controlled. So now that it's in this nice little container, I can put it under the table or in a corner somewhere where it's more temperature controlled and I'm not worried about our seeds um, being stored incorrectly. And they're nice and all in one spot and I absolutely love it. And I'm fixing to go plant some more cabbage because if you didn't watch the last video, the last video is how the deer got into the garden and they ate a lot of our beans and then the cabbage that I had growing in there, they can completely ate all my cabbage. Um, I think the green beans are gonna be okay, but the cabbage is completely gone. So I'm gonna replant some cabbage in our containers that we have. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do this afternoon, but I wanted to show you my seed storage hack. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, all the things, ring the bell, and have a great day, and we'll see you next time.